I'm A. N. Rajagopalan from IIT Madras, instructor for this course on modern computer vision. The course is a nice blend of classical and uh, recent techniques. Uh, the classical background is actually necessary in order for you to be able to appreciate how the latest methods work. This course can be taken by uh, UG students who are in their third year or final year, master students, scientists, practicing engineers uh, and, uh, and even PhD students who are specializing in this area. This picture that you are seeing on the right consists of just numbers, whereas on the left, if you see, uh, the, the, the right one right, that consists of just numbers is what, is what a computer would see, whereas on the left, what we as a human would actually perceive is that, is that an accident occurred wherein an engine crashed against, against a building. What we want a computer to understand is exactly what uh, you know, we would infer from that image. The contents of this course are as follows. So, introduction to deep networks will cover in brief, okay. This is not going to be very exhaustive, but uh, you know, it will be at the level at which you will be able to, able to appreciate, you know, what these, uh, you know, what these deep networks are. We will start with MLP, a perceptron, multilayer. Uh, perceptron, then we will go to a convolutional neural network, then we will do what are called uh, recurrent neural networks. Then uh, within low level vision, we will uh, we'll try to do what is, what is called image filtering both in the spatial and the Fourier domain, then we would be interested in edge detection and you might even want to do line detection, you know sometimes it is very important because lines can convey a lot of uh, information about the geometry of a scene. Then we go to feature detectors which are again very, very important for you to be able to match images, for you to be able to align images, for you to be able to extract depth information. Finally, go to what are called deep net features which are, which are something that are not handcrafted but uh, these are features that are learned by, by a network right, as it solves the task. The geometry as you understand is about, uh, is about you know what point how far is a point away from the camera and so on, what are all the points in a scene, what are all the different objects in a scene, where are they with respect to the camera and so on. So, here is an example where you have a building you know on the left and then you have the same building on the right taken from a completely different viewpoint and you still want to be able to able to match feature points across these two images. You want to be able to able to do that in order to triangulate to find where each point is and if you do that correctly, you will get uh, get a dense point cloud that looks like that. I mean, this is what this is where you want to get. Then we will go to mid-level vision where we are going to be talking about optical flow which is about the apparent motion of uh, of a pixel across a, across an image sequence. So, this is to this is to do more with uh, you know videos and so on. Then we go on to the image segmentation problem. Image segmentation would look like would look something like this where you want to be able to able to tell where the cars are and you know oh, and where the lanes are and where the trees are, where the buildings are and so on. Of course, you know we will actually talk about how deep Netflix uh, solve this problem uh, while uh, while of course, you know talking about uh, what is what has been a traditional approach for these kind of problems. Then eventually, right, we would go to high level vision where uh, the idea would be to, of course, you know, there is a classical, there is, uh, there is a fair amount of classical work on this, but then deep networks have overtaken all of them and therefore, our focus is primarily going to be deep network based. And uh, here, if you see what you have is uh, your images where you have, you have several objects and you want to be able to put a, a bounding box across these, ob on these objects in order to be able to tell what those objects are. So, it is not just putting a bounding box, you also have to be able to tell uh, what object that is. Again, another high level vision task which is deep networks for image captioning and uh, what that means is given an image, if somebody was to give, were to give you an image then you can sort of summarize what is happening in the image. This is what we normally do, right. We tell what is there in that image and uh, uh, that is exactly what you want a deep network to do. This course will also have uh, you know tutorials and it will also have a lab component, okay, which means that some not all of some of the methods that we talk about, you will get the opportunity to actually in implement them, right? you will be able to code them, you will be able to see them work. The overall sort of idea is that this course should be able to give you a firm grounding that will launch you into the exciting world of AI. Thank you.